All right, fifth grade, we're gonna talk about color, okay? You saw the PowerPoint presentation with the house and you have um, two-point perspective drawing that you're gonna do next time. But today, what we're gonna work on is actually creating the background, basically the sky behind the house, okay? So you're gonna have to create two different kinds of color screen schemes, okay? One is analogous, okay? So analogous is right here. And there's a center wheel right here that's smaller on the color wheel and you can actually spin it around okay so any of the colors that are touching okay it gives you four options but you just want three colors that are touching each other that makes an analogous set so if I spin this around and if I'm thinking about a, a haunted house and I want it to look like a scary sunset I might choose to do red red, orange, and orange, okay? Usually an analogous set of colors, you'll have one primary, one secondary, and an intermediate color in between. An intermediate color has um, a primary and secondary color mixed together to make that color, okay? So it's always a color that has two colors in its name. And they're also known as tertiary colors, okay? All right, so that will be one color scheme. Now, you don't have to use that set of analogous colors. You could choose to spin that around and then you could say, well, maybe I want to use orange, yellow, orange, and yellow, okay? All right, um, the next thing we're going to talk about is a monochromatic color scheme. Okay, so kind of just saying that these are the colors we're going to use. Now, at the bottom on the opposite end, of that dial, it says monochromatic. Mono meaning one, chromatic meaning color. Okay, so one color, okay? So in that square, whatever color it lands on, whatever color you like, you could choose that for your actual background sky, okay? All right, so we're doing two different color schemes. One's analogous and one's monochromatic, okay? So we're gonna do some painting today. So you're gonna get two sheets of paper, you need to make sure you write your names on the backs because these are gonna be used again, okay? Um, so I would write your name and your grade and your group letter. Okay, the first one we're gonna do is your analogous sets of colors, okay? We're using this sets of paints here. All right, so these look a lot cleaner. Okay, these are the new sets that we have, okay? All right, so I'm gonna use red and orange, and then I need to make a red-orange in the middle, okay? All right, so you're gonna have to stick one side of this tray out, okay, of the blue tray. The reason why is because otherwise you're not gonna have enough room for that water bucket, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna use a wide flat brush. You're gonna get it wet. Okay, remember, no tapping, guys, okay? All right, you can always turn the handle, kiss off the end on the inside of it, okay? Now, my paper got a little bit messy, and that's okay. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure I get enough red and gently brush on that, and then I'm gonna paint back and forth. Okay, that looks more like pink, so I really need to go back over that. Okay, I'm adding more color, or water and paint going back and forth and I'm going all the way to the edge okay now look right here had a little accident with my red getting into my white paint okay so you're gonna clean out your brush use a clean brush and then just wipe that off so no one knows okay and then the next person is gonna have a clean color okay so make sure you're doing that otherwise you can get switched out for the really not so happy, pretty looking, this is not so pretty looking sets of paints, okay? So make sure you're using them the right way so you don't get set up with this set. Now the bottom half, I'm gonna go ahead and make orange. So I'm rinsing out my brush. I'm gonna get that orange paint. And then I'm gonna go back and forth. I need to add more water and orange paint. Okay, now where it meets in the middle, I'm gonna mix those together. I kinda wanna add a little bit more orange. Okay, more orange. Okay, if you're getting a harsh line, okay, you see like there's a line, a color right there? Okay, get a clean brush, and then it's just clean and slightly wet, and then just go back and forth and smooth that out. 
So it makes a nice gradation. Okay, so that one's finished. Okay, now we're going to do monochromatic. I'm going to get my sheet of paper. I've got to rinse out my brush, and then I'm going to just do blue. Okay, now the nice thing about if you do monochromatic, okay, and monochromatic really means that it, you're doing the lightness or darkness of a color, okay? So I'm getting blue. Instead of having to mix different tints, where I'm mixing it with the white on the tray, we don't want to do that. What we're going to do is use the white of the paper, so it's a little trick. I'm going to go back and forth with the blue, and at the top it should be your strongest blue. So I'm just going to really lay down a heavy coat of that blue paint. And like I said, you don't have to use blue. Okay, then the next thing is I'm just going to add just a little bit of water to my brush. Just dip it in there a little bit, and then I'm going back and forth. Okay. And then I'm just going to add, I'm running out of water and paint, so I'm going to add a little bit more water to my brush. And then go back and forth. Okay, so it should actually look like a gradual change of color. Okay, so I'm going from blue all the way down to a light blue. Okay, and if you get any harsh lines, remember, rinse out that paintbrush and then go back and forth and smooth things out. Okay, and that's, that's it. And put them on the drying rack and make sure you put your big sheets of paper um, up on the blue um, cart. Okay, and make sure you use a sponge to wipe off your hands and wipe off the table. That's it.